Hey, what's good, Ken Folk? It's your brother, your big out, and y'all back with another video. So check this out. In this video, we're gonna talk about solar. I'm gonna show you my setup. I'm gonna show you how we power everything by solar, okay? Before we get into it, I got a question. What do you all think is the leading cause of our suffering? And when I say our, I'm referring to humanity as a whole. I don't want you to have to think about it. I'm gonna go ahead and answer that for you. The leading cause of our suffering is ignorance. You know, there's a verse in the Bible that goes something like, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now what I want you all to do is take that verse, look around throughout society, and see how that verse applies. Growing up, I witnessed a lot of people complain about paying bills, electric, water, gas, so on and so forth. And as a little child, you know, hearing these things, you don't know what they're talking about. But as you get older and you start working, you begin to understand what they were talking about. If anybody can relate, I can relate. Because I've had apartments. I've had houses. You understand what I'm saying? And just paying all those bills, I can't lie, I was frustrated. I was frustrated. But the older I got and the more I came to my senses, I'm just like, hold up. How is it that we're working to pay for something that was given to us for free? You understand what I'm saying? I mean, make it make sense. <laughs> like, it's just, it's, it's stupid, for real. It's stupid that we go to work day in and day out. We're giving these corporations all of our energy for what? Just to pay bills, bruh. Just, just, it, it, it just don't make sense. It don't make sense. So going back to the question that I asked, what is the leading cause of our suffering? Ignorance. The reason why we're paying these bills is because we're ignorant. People hit me up all the time and they ask questions like, bro, how do you power all the stuff in your home? How do you heat your home? How do you cool your home? And I've answered those questions. But I'm going to do it right here, right now in this video. We're going to talk about the solar panels. We're going to talk about the inverter. We're going to talk about the batteries and how I use everything. I'm going to show you my whole setup. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I don't have bills. I ain't finna pay no bills. Last time I paid a bill is when we had our old house before we sold it. That was back in 2022. And um, I think I stopped paying around like March. See, that's the last time I had any bills, you know what I'm saying? Now, I do have a car note, insurance, phone bill, but that's it. Paying for electricity? No. Paying for gas? No. Paying for heat? N none of that. Why? Because I increased my knowledge. And instead of paying them, I made investments. But look, enough with all my talking. I know y'all want to see it, so let's go ahead and get into it, all right? So the way I got mine set up, I have four panels going to my grow wide inverter, and I have two panels going to my uh, Blue Eddy. All right. So with the four, I got them hooked up in series. Now I don't, I really don't want to get too technical with it. You understand what I'm saying? But for those of you who know, you know, you can hook it up in series, and you can hook it up in um, parallel. Hooking it up in series is a lot easier. If I have four, the one on this end and the one on the other end, this one right here is a negative, okay? On the other end, uh, that's a positive. So I'm gonna leave those open. I got, I got everything hooked up right now, but I'm saying like, I'm gonna leave the negative open and the positive open. But in the middle of all of them, I got them hooked up. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you, okay? All right. Turn this around just like that. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate what hooking it up in series look like. Basically, you take this one, which is the inside, this one, which is the inside, you 
You see? Negative, positive. You hook them up. You understand what I'm saying? You leave that one off, you leave this one over here off. Now what you're gonna do is get some PV wires. Okay, that would be this one right here. <clears throat> they come in red and black, positive, negative. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook the positive up to the negative and then get the other end, hook that one up to the uh, positive, right? So on the other end of the PV wire, you're gonna hook that up into your solar generator or your inverter, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how I got it running throughout the house. And remember, I got three panels, I said two earlier, but it's really three, that's hooked up to my um, Blue Eddy, right? These three. And then these four, I have hooked up to the grow rod. As I was setting all this up, I put a hole in the wall so that I can run these to the solar generator and the inverter, all right? So we're gonna go on the inside and see what it looked like. So the audio should be a lot better now that I'm in the house. I'm just showing y'all the wires. The ones that's coming from the outside are connected to the ones that's on the inside. I got two sets. Remember, one going to the grow watt. This is my main system right here. This right here is what pretty much powers the refrigerator, TV, I mean, and the uh, AC. Can't see it, but yeah, the AC. This right here is my mini Blue Eddy. I use this one mainly for the water pump. And the water pump is connected to the kitchen sink, the shower, and the garden. I'll show you all that in another video. But anywho, with this one, I only use one panel uh, to charge it up. The other wires are going to my Blue Eddy. Okay, and this right here, I can pretty much use it for the same things I use this one for, but this one right here, is uh, 2,000 watts, whereas this one is 3,000 watts. This right here has two batteries, one that's still in the box, and this one right here. Now, if you look at it, I got it turned upside down, but it's 200 amp hours and 5,120 watt hours, okay? By me having two batteries, <laughs> I got more than enough power, you know what I'm saying? And I really got another battery because um, during the summertime, that thing over there, it uses a lot of power. So <clears throat> by me having two batteries, I'm Gucci. All right, you take a look at the wires. They're going up into the inverter, right? And let me hook this one up right here to the uh, Blue Eddy home. Give me one second. You see how I hooked it up? And it came on, that lets me know that my uh, solar panels are working. If it needs to charge up, as you can see, in the top left corner, it's only getting, uh, I wanna say, what is that? 17 watts, 25 watts. And that's because it's in the shade, now the sun ain't. Some people may ask, how much does all of this cost? I'm gonna start with the solar panels. On Amazon right now, and I have it up right here. They have panels starting at 100 watts. And I believe the cheapest, I'm not looking at anything, I'm just going off memory. The cheapest 100 watt panel right now is going for uh, $80. So you can get like however many panels you need, you feel me, at $80 a piece. That's really good. Panels are fairly cheap, for real, for real. Um, but the more you go up in watts, like say for an example, um, a 200 watt or 250, it may be $200 or $250, you know what I'm saying? Um, like the 350 watt panels that I got, I think I paid um, $600 for two of those at the time. But yeah, like I say, panels are cheap. Now we're gonna go into your solar generators. You have Blue Eddy, you have EcoFlow, 
you have um i think patriot um you got jackery you got so many different ones right and they vary in price it just really depends on how much you want to get out of it you feel what i'm saying so i have a 2000 watt at the time i think i paid somewhere around 17 to 1800 dollars because it was fairly new the same one i got right now they're going for i want to say 1100 1200 dollars so they went down in price they do have newer systems where you can stack batteries on it you feel what i'm saying like mine you can't stack batteries like it's just come standard so whenever you're looking at these solar generators just make sure you pick the one that's going to be best for your situation okay now moving on to the inverter they have so many inverters out there um that's plug and play meaning you don't have to do all this extra stuff you could just plug the battery up to it plug the uh solar panels up to it and boom it'll work the same thing i was saying for the solar generators it applies to these as well you just have to pick the one that's going to be the best for your situation now for me i got the grow watt inverter i think i got a 24 volt inverter and i got two 24 volt uh batteries um the grow white inverter was like six or seven hundred at the time that i got it and um the batteries were the most expensive like out of everything that i'm talking about the batteries are going to be the most expensive you feel me but uh, the ones that i got were like 1600 a piece and that's after tax super expensive but they're really 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 good investments you know what i'm saying and by having all of this it just eliminates an electric bill, heating bill, AC bill. Like I said, I power this whole house for free. You know, there's all this talk about rolling blackouts and attacks on the electrical grid when we already know who's really doing it. But <clears throat> you're hearing all these things, you're hearing in places like Arizona where the electric companies, you know, they were cutting people's power off just at will, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing that, I'm just like, nah, I don't want nobody to control what I got going on. I want to be in control of all of it. So um, that's my reason for investing in these things, you feel me? So <clears throat> whenever they do have these rolling blackouts, I still have power. Whenever there's a hurricane or whatever, and you know, all the power go out in people's homes, I'ma still have power. You understand what I'm saying? Because one thing I heard a wise man say, he said, I always have a backup to your backups, which is why I got the gas generator. If the sun is not out and it's overcast, I'm gonna still get some solar energy, but it's not gonna be as much. So in that case, I'll just crank up the generator and charge up the batteries if I need to charge them up. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a really dope setup and I encourage everybody to try to get on that. You know what I'm saying? Take a lot of that stress off yourself, make some good investments and yeah.